guys, it's Heidi again. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about my thrift store finds. Um, yesterday I took a me day and I went out and I had a blast finding some items that I want to use for a re kind of a decorating project that I have. Um, actually, a lot of it's going to be for this wall here. Um, I felt like this wall needed a little more dimension. Um, my mom had painted this picture for me when I redid my home in um, more of a kind of a beach theme. And um, but I'm kind of wanting to gear t more towards like farmhouse coastal. So I want to incorporate a little bit of farmhouse in with my um, decor. So with that said, um, first we'll start off with, I got this cute basket, but it's a little too dark. So I will be painting, taking the liner out and painting that, probably white. I gave $1.99 for that. So I thought that was a really good deal. This I got, um, I did pay a little more for this. I paid $5. But you could barely buy the wood or the hardware for that or, I mean, brand new, it's definitely going to be more than $5. Um, but I will probably be painting this white as well. I would like to incorporate a lot more white. I've done a lot of the glazed look and a lot of the cream, but I'm going to be kind of redoing things. It's only been a year, but since I redid everything. Um, but I like the white look. I like the crisp clean white. Um, I got this shelf too that I'm going to completely redo. Um, I haven't decided on if I'm going to sand this down and stain it like a like a kind of a, a dark barn wood. Um, haven't decided so I'm kind of up in the air about that but um, I paid $3.99 for this shelf and I couldn't have bought the hardware or the wood for that. Um, so I'm really excited to repurpose this. Um, this little pitcher uh, was two dollars and forty eight cents, and I love the shape and um, of it. So I am going to um, paint a lot of the stoneware white, a white satin. I'm going to have some different shape bottles on the shelf. I got this cute little house, which I've been seeing a lot of um, in different uh, decor. I really like it. Still has the tag on it. It's brand new. Um, I paid $2.98 for this at the thrift store. This is a shelf. Um, I paid $1.08 for it. Um, it's got the shelving on the back, but I'm going to repurpose it and make a sign out of it. This I thought was interesting. Um, they have like a box of wood stuff and I saw this and I thought, oh, how cute is that? And believe it or not, it is a Memorex tape cassette or cassette tape holder. Um, it probably at one time maybe even had a lid or who knows, but I'm going to sand it down. Um, again, I'm not 100% sure exactly what I'm going to do to it, but we're going to make this um, cute little cassette box something I thought maybe um, put a little saying on the front and uh, some cute um, mason jars with uh, maybe some greenery or something in it. So. I'm definitely excited to play around with that. This little pot, I want to do a little um, greenery in it. I'm gonna spray it white as well. And you gotta be careful when you find these things at thrift stores though. Um, I typically don't buy uh, terracotta flower pots um, for like my patio or anything. Um, so I wasn't real familiar with what they normally run. I paid a dollar eight for this and then I went to Menards afterwards and I found that this size was 78 cents brand new. So gotta watch the terracotta. I also just for reference got this at Menards brand new. I wanted to show you this. This will also be sprayed white. 
and I will probably put a little saying across it. I, I'd like to put a fern in here, so I'm thinking about spraying it white and then in black lettering putting fern. And I will be doing a video with doing all of this stuff as I create and um, refurbish. But this was $1.47, so if that gives you any idea on how cheap these are, you just gotta be careful in the thrift stores of the prices. You might be better off just going and buying a brand new one. I thought this was a cute bottle though. Uh, so I'm not sure um, how I'm gonna be able to take that off if I just spray the whole thing later to come. And I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna be doing with this either. Do I leave it? Do I change this a little bit, but leave all that? We'll see, I might spray this a, a matte white and uh, keep this the, the shiny, but I love this. This little stool is for my bathroom. Um, I paid $3.99 for it. It's a heavy, very heavy, um, but I have some, my little twin granddaughters who come over and they're like, they love to wash their hands. And when they come spend the night, you know, to brush their teeth. So this is for my bathroom. And I'm gonna, you know, completely take it down to the natural and do something um, cute with that. So I'll take you along that refurbished trip too. This is um, rosemary, uh, artificial rosemary. But I thought I paid $4.98 for this. But again, if I were to go into a store, there's no way that this would have only been $4.98. So. I'm typically pretty cheap when it comes to stuff, but um, sometimes I feel like something's still worth paying a little more for it. But I really like this, and I'm probably actually not gonna do anything to this. It'll probably, if it doesn't go on my shelf, it'll probably sit on my kitchen counter. But I like it. Over here to these little ramekin like they were 49 cents each so they had three matching so I bought all three this little thing I thought was a cute little shape 39 cents and this was 49 cents I found this kind of succulent greenery uh, brand new still has the tag on it two dollars and 99 cents and you can't probably find that anywhere so I don't know if I'll do a cute arrangement or not even really an arrangement but do something like that in there um, I haven't decided yet so that'll be fun to play with that and last but not least I don't know if any of you know what this is but this is what they call a butter bell or a butter crock. And um, I've wanted one of these for a long time now, uh, but to even order one online, I mean, I got online and kind of looked around last night just to compare. Um, but for a plain white one, I mean, you're looking 20 and up. And I paid $2.08 for this. And so what you do is you put your real, real butter in there, fill it up, and then there's, um, uh, you put water in, in there, and then it creates a seal, airtight seal between the water and the butter, and um, keeps your butter good so you can keep it out and your real butter will stay soft. And um, so yeah. I'm really excited about my little butter bell. <laughs> it's the little things in life. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe and share with your friends if you enjoyed. Have a great day.